Hello. <laughs> How you going, guys? Continuing the grind. Um, the grind, the grind, the grind. The grind to affiliate. <laughs> it would be nice. I don't think I'm going to get there, but that would be nice. There we go. Um, why are you... Oh, why is my controller not responding? Controller is not controlling because it's the one thing that I unplugged. All right. Um, so we're going to do uh, keyboard and mouse today, apparently, because I am a doofus and unplugged my... Uh, um, my, my, my controller to plug something else in. So... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm so smart sometimes. Right, let me have a look at some. Let's see if I can change some things really quickly. Nice. Because I'm not used to. Um. Like this is what I'm gonna. Uh, what is custom <laughs> tracks? I might have to look into that. Post combat BGM settings. Right, so that's way good. Looks like. No, I don't need to change any of that. There's a third party. What are, the, what are the third party licenses? Oh, that's all that sort of stuff. Retro sound mode off, DLC bonus credits. Uh, no, no, okay. Never mind. Alright, so we're playing uh, with mouse and keyboard today because things and stuff. So we have all of this extra stuff. That I can do. Um, we're gonna start from right. Uh, actually, let's start from Spirit of Seal because I've got these sort of things, but these kick the uh, oh. story off. So, let's start from Spirit of Steel. Actually, no. Um, I, I don't know what else I can really unplug. Um, um, yeah, no, we're just gonna have to deal with this for right now, because I've everything plugged in. Okay. Oh, which one did we get? So we're gonna go to Spirit of Steel, oh. and see what this is. Vostriga Bridge. We'll be arriving at the DVD site momentarily. Ah, more of these things. <laughs> DVD, Dimensional Boundary Distortion Phenomena. I've heard they've been sighted in multiple locations recently, as if our world wasn't in enough turmoil. We've already dealt with a bunch of these are an old keep up we don't have time to complain for now we're assisting in the investigation we've detected combat in the vicinity of our destination which forces are involved unknown neither are affiliated with earth federation forces mobile teams prepare to scramble three crews will race rush to the site I don't know what this is. Spirit of Steel. I have no idea what this might be. So we've got the DVD. Oh! Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. SRX. Oh. Well, I killed the tank. <laughs> What's going on here? We were training near Jupiter until a few seconds ago. That's the Earth, isn't it? Are you saying we were thrown from Jupiter to Earth in a matter of seconds? I can only assume it happened because we fell into that dimensional distortion, but... Captain, I've, encountered, I've confirmed our location. We're in Earth's satellite orbit. So it was a warp. I'm afraid not. There are subtle yet definite differences between the Earth we know and the Earth in front of us. Hold on, are you saying it's Earth, but not our Earth? That's one way of putting it. So this is what, a parallel universe? That is the most likely answer? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> We should thoroughly assess the situation. Let's try to contact the inhabitants of this world. Wait, I'm checking multiple approaching heat signatures. 
Who the hell are these guys? They're certainly not of terrestrial origin. This is Lieutenant Aya Kobayashi of the SRX team affiliated with Earth Federation forces. Please respond. We are not hostile. May I request a meeting? We are in need of information. Nope. Looks like they're not much for talking. You know, you they may be unmanned drones. Then we gotta fight. No way I'm dying in some unknown world. It's your call, Lieutenant. You're authorized for battle. We're returning fire and self-defense. Okay, let's roll through them with the SRX. We have to be prepared for anything. We can't remain combined forever, so it may be wiser to decombine. Or we could just take them out fast and it won't be a problem. I agree with Rusay on this one, Lieutenant. I'll conserve the tr Trinium engine's power. Alright. Sorry, I, uh, I know how hard it is to maintain the TK field this long. Don't worry about me, I have no intention of dying in a fire world either. <laughs> With that out of the way, let's do this. So this is... Alright then, so I don't know who you are, but you can't stop the SRX. So... SRX is one of the major... Is one of the main, uh... Original... Whoops. No. No. Is one of the major, um... Original... Bam Presto robots. I think it was. Uh, oh, I don't like this. I think I prefer the. Oh, a little bit. I think I prefer the control uh, the control pad, but that's all right. We'll figure that out later. How do you feel? Are you okay in there? Don't worry about me, focus on the enemy. Roger, but let me know right away if you're in pain. Stay sharp, you see. These machines seem to be the product of an extraterrestrial civilization. Concept design is closer to the Arrogators than it is about to ours. So there could be aliens here to invade the Earth, right? All the more reason to fight. This may not be our world, but the SRX is still sworn to protect the Earth. <laughs> so yeah, this is from one of the major... This is a, like a main character machine. But yeah, which it looks cool. It's a three-part combiner with way too much firepower and way too many gadgets. Is there a? Oh, there we go. Okay, space does that. Cool. All right. <sighs> Okay, so we'll go in. So you're going to move in. You're going to attack. And get absolutely <laughs> stomped. Sweet. Yeah, I need to track down some of the older games. I know a lot of them you can't play in English. There's like 50-something games that you can't play in English, but... Yeah. Oh, standard I beams. Two of them are the nice green. Like <laughs> that was the Van Presto logo. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, then again, I suppose most of its head is the Van Presto logo. But um. Sure. Okay, there's a bit. Let's go again. Whoever you are. So, yeah. You can see the Bam Presto logo on the visor there, which is kind of hilarious. And, yep. Here comes the sword. Check this out for a finishing slash. So, check this out. Watch this. This is hilarious. Gonna push him up. So he breaks the blade. And does that. That's interesting. Not the way you usually use a sword in these types of things, but. How did that not kill? Come on. Are you kidding me? Rude. Um. Dodge. Perfect. I am running low on energy, though. Alright, I'm tanked, so it's 
Alright, so... Um... Focus up. There. So this should... Kill this one, I think. Dodge, perfect. So yeah, it's a three-part robot. Um, don't know what the... Uh, don't know what the, 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 the pieces are off the top of my head. They're not going to show us because, yeah, <laughs> apparently I have enough vehicles. <laughs> so here I go. Oh, and I've got nothing more spirit wise, so. Let's get zapped, get dodged, and what are we going to go for? And whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Let's go with the uh, uh, Nine Apple? So nope. Like so, so okay, yeah. so we're just gonna this is gonna use up a lot more energy than I have left. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, not as much as I thought. That's fine. So we'll go with the Zine Knuckle, which will bring it down a little bit more. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, considering how much it actually brought down. And then... Whatever the basic attack is, we'll steal it from there. Yep, and phase... Ba da da, ba da da, ba da da, ba 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 ba, ba da ba 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 da. Right. So we'll go for this one again. And dodge. Thank you. Right. So what are you gonna pull out this time? You say? Design knuckle. Nope. This one. The high finger launches. There we go. Okay, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay. And you're going to go... And this should finish that one off. So I can just finish this last one off fairly easily. So this will finish this one off, and then I can just go all in with that last one and just finish it off with whatever the freak I've got, whatever energy I've got left. That's probably the best way to do it. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay, so let's go into this thing that I never use. All attacks do not require that one. Alright. Do I have any more of these that I can use? Nope. Okay. That's fine. And we're just going to absolutely wipe this guy out. Bullseye and focus. 
So yeah, you are pretty much scrapped. Scrappy dappy down. All right. Just coming in with this thing again. I, I, I have to admit, an explosive sword blade is kind of cool. <laughs> you can just break it off and, yeah. Okay. And there we go. And that should be it for these ones. And then it gets sent to another part of the world. I think that's what they've been doing so far. Although this has only been one, so they might not get sent to another part of the world. And that's a level up. Woohoo! Well, we're not dead yet. <laughs> and that the X SRX was able to resist, and the lieutenant seems fine. Well, time for the big question. What now? I need to get in contact with some intel someone intelligent me beings, preferably. Stay on alert, you two. I'm detecting a massive heat signature incoming. And here comes the good guys. The SRX, is it you saying the others? Holy smokes, that's one colossal battleship. Could it be the source of those unmanned units? It appears to be Earth made, but I am Commander Mitsuba Grey Valley of the Dream Cruise Earth Federation Autonomous Corps. We've come to confirm the situation. Please respond. Earth Federation? Could it be the same organization that exists in our world? Well, sounds like we can talk to these guys. <laughs> he looks like such a dog. <laughs> This is Captain Ayo Kobayashi of the SRX team affiliated with the Earth Federation forces. SRX team? I've never heard of them. I suppose they might be a classified special squadron. That heavy SR of theirs is not in our database, Mitsuba. Captain Kobayashi, we're here to investigate the DVD. We would like to ask you a few questions. You're welcome to come aboard. Please follow the guide lights and enter our hangar. Let's go. I, we at least we'll be able to settle down. Of course, you would be so reckless. Hold it, you, you say. What now? I know it's another world, but they're still EFF. I'm sure we can talk to them. That doesn't mean we should trust them until we know more. So you'd rather have us drift through space for the rest of our lives? Ryu, head for the ship. Are you sure about this, Captain? Ryu says right. We don't know enough to survive on our own either. Let's make contact first, but you're ready to run it in a moment's notice just in case. Roger that. And Ryu say, I know it's hard for you, but stay vigilant. I get it, sheesh, but seriously, I don't think it will come to that. And why do you think that? Just call it a hunch. I don't think we're going to have to fight that ship. In fact, I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Hmm, I don't know. Joe Strager, hang on. Based on what you're saying, I, we can safely... Yo, Raider, what's up? We can safely assume that you've come from a parallel universe. That figures. Forgive me, but you seem unfazed by this. That's because I'm not. You're not the first visitor from a parallel world that Dree Cruise has made contact with. Does your squadron keep them under protection? I wouldn't say that. They've all decided to cooperate with us of their own volition. The Dree Cruise, a squadron fighting to protect mankind's freedom and peace. Sounds like the perfect place for us. They're basically the Londo Bell. Londo Bell, you say? It's the squadron we're affiliated with. Their same cause is the same as yours. There's actually a Londo Bell on our Earth as well. For real? Then there might be others like us kicking around this universe. Commander Mutes, but we'd like to cooperate with the Drake Crews if you'll have us. We'd be happy to welcome you. Are you sure about this, though? Yes, I'm convinced you'd never ask us to do something that goes against our ideals. What's more, I believe that people with our same circumstances are gathering here for a reason. Really? That's how I feel. If they're looking for a way to return their own to their own world like us, then the smartest play for us is to stick with your group. It should go without saying that we're happy to assist you in your battles in return for your protection. Thank you, Captain. Welcome aboard. Please be assured that you'll be treated as collaborators and you'll never be forced to fight against your wishes. Thank you very much. I wasn't sure what to expect from those drones after those drones attacked, but I think we're set now. And this is a lot to take in, but it sounds like we've got some new pals. Humor, did you end up in this one too? Right, because Combattler, I think Volta's are seriously involved in Super Robot Wars, like, since almost the beginning, I think. Uh, what are you on about? Friend of yours, Yoma? Koji, what happened to you? You look way older. 
I have been getting that a lot from people who haven't seen me in 10 years, but do we know each other? Ryu, they may look the same, but these aren't our friends. They must be their parallel versions from this world. Parallel versions? If you're saying something like that, then they must also be visitors from parallel world. Indeed. That's tough, man. <laughs> Feel free to talk to us whenever you want. Who knows when we might be able to help you in some way. Besides, I'm really curious about this <laughs> that other version of me. Sure thing, I'd like to know all about the robots of this world. Look at them. He's supposed to be a parallel version, but Ryusei is getting along with him like it's a second nature. I wonder if we'll run into any other familiar faces. The eventual boundary distortions reported in local, multiple locations throughout the world, and now visitors from a parallel world. What's going on exactly? I don't know yet, but I have a very bad feeling. I just can't shake. Okay, so let's do the upgrades, people. Upgrades. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Okay, so. Oh, no. Oh, 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 there we go. So, should. And the defender arm. <laughs> so we'll attach both of those to. Don't think we have so many that don't have any power part upgrades. Oop, hang on, maybe not. We'll put the AA adapter on. Oh, it's not where I'm going to AA adapter, AA adapter on there. And is there any more? Nope. All right. There's all stuff we can sell. We can't buy any, which is annoying. Can't do anything there. All right. All those are in. Uh, all right. So that's minus fifteen percent per unit for upgrade cost. And 15% upgrade cost. All right, so we're good there. Congratulations on 19 million. Discover the secrets of the cryptic signal that repeats. I think this was like a celebration for like 19 million downloads or something. Or 19 million purchases or something like that, which is kind of cool. 19 million players or whatever, I don't know. I have no idea. I know nothing. I see nothing. What in the world? What is it, Leanne? Something up with the sensors? I'm picking up a transmission. No identification, but all it says is 19 million over and over again. 19 million? It's certainly an impressive figure. We have no idea what it means. Leanne, can you trace the transmission's point of origin? Done. Ararat sector. Coordinates 1900. There's that 19 again. Drake Cruise will investigate the Ararat sector. I want to look this up real quick because I'm moderately curious as to what the big deal is with that one. Just, I'm sorry. Give me a second, guys. I, I'm, I'm... Yeah, 19 million franchise sales. 
So that's what it is. So over the full life of the series, they've sold 19 million units, which at well at the when this particular update which was released, which is pretty impressive. I believe this number, 19 million, is a beacon calling us for some purpose. That makes a lot more sense than thinking it was game sales. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't that far off. <laughs> okay, so... Formation, assign... So I think this should be a fairly easy one. Wait, can I only pick from these three? Are these the only ones I can choose from, I guess? Well, we have a marker now. We've reached transmission's point of origin. Looks like a bunch of empty space. Several unknown units incoming. Don't tell me. 1900 of them. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Just 41, actually. But it's still a 1900. The enemy 1900 has opened fire. They appear to be unmanned. Captain, we have to retreat. As bizarre as this is, it's not our problem. We don't have time for it. No. Captain, this is a challenge. We're being asked to show that we are greater than 19 million. Greater than 19 million? Sort of all units. Now we can go. All right. So, let's see. Who needs... Okay, so... Gridman's at 14, so he's going out. I think that's... The only one that's still at level 14. All right. Combattler, Bill Tiger, Shadow Maru. Oh, nope, there's an Ichinana that's still a 14. And that Ichinana and Saibasta and Kobu, Barbados, Ultraman. Let's go. Why? We're outrageously outnumbered. They're not giving us a choice, Exo. We're in it, so we must commit. The enemy is maintaining formation and waiting for our response. Preserving that number 1900. Very well. All units, commence attack. Show them that their 19 million is just a stepping stone for us. Understood. I really want to prove we can go past that number. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Drop an intuition and start battle, and we go for Gridman. Okay, Gridman in space! And sweet. That's one down. This is going to be all very easy, but a very easy opportunity to upgrade a little bit as, as needed. Bring up Combatler. Super EM Yo-Yo. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Dum -dum. Bum bum. Victory. Dum dum. Alright, so we're gonna go for the yo yo's. Yep, that was what I was going for. There you go. Weapons are ridiculous. But your moves are something as. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. That's not hard. <laughs> that train went off the rails a long time ago. <laughs> 
bam, bam. All right, so that's another one down. Did it in, done, done. Another one bites the dust. Alright, and let's go with a bullseye. And go. Ba -ba -dum, and we're gonna go with Bill Tiger and the Grey Police. I'm gonna have some chocolate real quick, cause I want something real sweet. And I have some. There we go. Mm. Enjoy the lovely ASMR of me chewing in your ear. <laughs> So, I'll do a focus, and they really need it, I think. All right. So, we'll go for shurikens. And that should... Nope, did not take down. That was slightly annoying. I should have gone with the ninja toe. That was my mistake. I should have known better. I got... Cocky. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All the way forward. Bullseye. Persist. Start battle. All right. Bam, bam. All right. That's. I mean, the itchy nano is really basic looking, but that's kind of what it's supposed to be. So. That's not so bad. All right, and that's another one down. Bam. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum. These are really no. easy no. to knock the frick down. Right, so the Ichinana goes up one. Nope. What about you? Can you hit anything? Oop, yes. 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 Yes, yes, excellent. Go. Yeah, I suppose the mobile system look different between what he's used to and everything else. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna do it when the next Super Robot Wars comes out. I'm gonna have to keep an eye because I, I I'm enjoying this way more than I really thought I would. Ba -da 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 -da. All the way forward, attack, dual swords should maybe finish this one off, focus, <laughs> intuition, and kill. And maybe kill, hopefully kill, can you kill? Please kill. Eliminate. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Alright, so let's go and bring someone else. Move you up to here and stand by. And Cybuster gets to strike ahead because. Alright, so we're going to go for the Psy Flash. And hit it. Perfect, and wiped out. Oop, sweet. That's going to just wipe a whole bunch of out. I like it. Yep, sweet. Sweet. Keep going. Knock out more. Kill them all. Oh, freaking hell. It's a massacre. 
Five, destroy at least one, at least five enemy units with a single map attack. Way! I did that! <laughs> Jeez! Absolutely smashed him! Alright. Um, Fortune. That's all. Right. Sweet. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Right. So we'll unleash the high familiar. Dude, that was a good shot. I did not expect that to work that well. <laughs> uh, Sidebuster just looks cool. I'm sorry. It really does. Yee. And zip zap paddywhack. Give a cat some fish. <laughs> da 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 and we're gonna go for another one. There we go. But yeah, let's see more of that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go for this thing. And we'll just slice and dice this one. I don't know if Cybuster's ever like a a, 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 a protagonist machine in any of these games. I should look that up. Have any one pilot destroyed ten enemy units in a single stage? Masaki's just going ludicrous. Masaki's just going unhinged in this stage. It's insane. I love it. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Dodge, dodge, dodge. It's like Ghirardogas or something, right? I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so you're going to do this one. Alright, so... Up oh, and another one for Masaki. <laughs> oh, he's just... One-shotting everyone. And missed. You suck. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go for yep, Kiran Shiro, and zip zap paddywhack. Give a cat a fish. That guy's really done with this. All right, um, it's another one down, and another one down. <laughs> This is just an endless stream of miss. What are we gonna hit him with this time, Masaki? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Whoop. Fli table flip bust. What? Table flip what? It's just a disc cutter. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> like. And up, up. Okay, spirit. Can we spirit? We cannot spirit. Okay, so let's go. Ba -da -ba. So Bill Tiger's gonna wipe this right off the floor with this thing. Maybe. Dodged perfect. And we know everything there is to know about the enemy mobile suits. Yep, Tiger Cannon. Yep, that's trashed. That's scrap metal. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. All right. <laughs> Sets another one down. 
with another level up. Another one of these. Dodge. Yep. There we go. Masaki's just getting everything. That's crazy. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. See, I, I, at this point, I'm just sitting back and pressing the space bar. <laughs> it prompts me to. <laughs> uh, this is the easiest part of this. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so you're going to shoot. Oh, actually hit for a change. No, that didn't do much. Alright, so... An AI without a heart is just a tool of destruction. And machine gun, yep. Pew, 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 pew. Alright. So that's another one down. And Bill Tiger gets another one. Ah. <laughs> uh... The dodge and build a tiger cannon. Nope, melee and smack in the face. Dead, half dead, not quite dead. Nope, that's dead. And the Ichi Nana with Shiro again. Do I get it? Level up. Okay. That's cool. All good. Dun, 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 And pew, 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 pew. Dodge and weave. There we go. All right. So you're just going to machine gun again. Yep, machine gun again. Perfect. All right, that's another one down. <laughs> I think. Oh no, we got one more that can actually attack. <laughs> one more that can do an attack. So shoot, shoot, miss, miss. So shadow Maru. So just shurikens again. Nice. That's not going to destroy it. Yes, it is. Never mind. All right. So I think... Nope, we got one more. One more that can attack. It's all going to get a Shadow Maru. <laughs> so we're going to shoot again. This bit, this is probably the easiest level I'm going to get, but also the most annoying, because there's just so many of them. <laughs> there's just, like, so many of the guy of, of them to get through. Oop! <laughs> it's another level up. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yep, we got one, one more attack. Oh my gosh. I think it's safe to break formation now, guys. There isn't much left. Ah, <laughs> oh, voice. Uh, excuse me. Ten more shurikens. That should take that one out. Yep. This is just consistently going down. All right. You gonna level up again? Nope. All right. We'll do another one. Ba, 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 ba. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 bang, bang. Pew, pew, bang, bang. And more of those. Is it going to resist? Yep, because I had the shield defense thing, which is 
annoying, but all right. So one last one does not have any defenses that I can see, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, <laughs> the constant. Oh, okay. pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and shurikens again. Yep, shurikens again. So, is that going to take it out? No yes. No shield defense. Perfect. Alright. So, that's literally... There's no way anyone... Nope. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay. Now I can actually... Ah, uh, frick. So I can attack and hit a spacium beam on this mother on this mother trucker. So focus and bullseye and dead, dead, dead as a doornail. This thing's gonna go down. All right, so spacium beam, which will take that out handily. Boom. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Perfect. All right, so that's another one down. Ultraman gets a level up. Uh, can I do an EX action? Which EX? I'll go with that one. Move you up a touch. Attack. Multi shift. This one. Bullseye. Fussy. And focus. Unleash the everything. Because I think this is going to get a double attack. Bam, ba, -dum, bam, bam. So go for this one. Got him. Yeah, I mean, this is going down no matter what happens. Yes, that wolf is walking on space. <laughs> and that one. All right, so that should be that one down. There we go. And that's another one. All right, so that's that one. And then the multi-attack should kick in. I should get another attack. And a level up. And the multi-action. We'll go again. Alright. So we'll go with that one. This is just overkill on these, but like... I'm not that concerned. <laughs> and one more. And that's the last one. Done. All right. Yeah. All right. We're going good. We're going really good. We're going really good. We're going really good. Okay, so it's another one down. Move up. Attack. Breast fire on that one. Spirit. Pull a persist. Go. That'll take this one out fairly easily. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Breast fire. Perfect. I feel like if I ever like do a Discord for like subscribers and stuff I'll probably organize like proper watch parties and stuff and I'd be tempted to do like just like go through see what of these we can find and then we just do watch parties of like stuff that we haven't seen. I think that could be fun. 
that that's when I start, you know, get to the point where I can have subscribe paid subscribers and not just followers. Which you guys are cool. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate every follow. It gets me closer to where I want to be. But yeah, that could be fun. Okay, Tailblade again. That persist is already up. Stop that all. So he's gonna tailblade this. So you're trashed. That's another one. All right. How quickly you just go through them like, oh, you're an enemy. Okay, now you are no longer my issue. Except. Oh, no, that's what I'm going to X action. That's it. Um, boost dash. Can I do any more oh. EX actions? Multi action. Ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a
There we go. Oh, that's a lot easier. That is a lot easier. Uh, oop, oop. Oop. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I got a lot of upgrade stuff out of that. Right, so bridge. All right, so can't do that. All right. Can't do anything else there, so let us continue. Dimension Diver. Let's go with this one. What's this one? I don't know. Um, I can't remember if I've done this one. I can't remember what it is. Let's find out together. Trace Striga Bridge. We'll be arriving at the DVD site momentarily. But in the last... Yeah, we've already done this. Yep. War escalating. We run into this. Stand against anything that is a threat. Peace for agent. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, combat occurring. Both sides unidentified. We had no reports. Uh, part of our mission. Drake Cruz will rush to the site. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's the Dimension Diver? Who is it? Is it someone I recognize? Is it someone I recognize? Oh, it's this one. But I have no idea what Didarian is other than I've used this one before. So Meg isn't here. I don't see the the Rakalem anywhere. Have I been transferred here alone? But it doesn't seem like a gate is open. Who? I've never seen anything quite like them. I don't know who you're supposed to be, but if you're going to attack me, the one thing is clear. You are my enemy. Didarian's die car, die, die car skill activates under 50% HP, allowing you to turn mortal danger into victory. Interesting. I don't think I've ever actually seen that activate. Okay, so... Holek Karev. Intuition. And persist. Got it. All right. The enemy must be defeated. And while it's going through this... Where are you from, Didarian? Because I don't know. There we go. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Oh, okay, so this is another Super Robot Wars uh, original, like he was a main character of a specific game, which is Super Robot Wars DD, which I think was the... Oh, I think was like the uh, one of the mobile games. I think. Uh, yeah, mobile game. Yep. Okay, which never left Japan, which is pretty similar for a lot of these types of things. Which I'm kind of disappointed because this guy looks pretty cool. And a level up. So, who's going to get trashed next? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> and dodge. There we go. And... I know who you are, but okay, so... Get wrecked? Get wrecked? Yep, get wrecked. Get wrecked. And that's a pretty cool robot, though. I'll have to keep that one in mind. Okay. okay one more. 
This is probably one of the easiest fights I've had all, all night. <laughs> one more. <laughs> and probably the shortest mission I'm going to do all night. <laughs> I mean, SRX was pretty... It was pretty... Uh... Oh. He's close enough to get whatever that was. But SRX was a pretty short one as well, so... We'll probably be able to fit a couple or more of these Wait, in, and then we can go home. The <laughs> well, then I can go to bed. <laughs> Alright, so that's literally it. It's over. Is this one of the worlds I'm familiar with, or is it yet another parallel world? If it wasn't a gate that brought me here, then who is responsible? Whatever the case, I need to get some information first. A battleship? It's much long larger than the Rakhailam. Pilot of the right, White Mech, do you copy? I am Commander Mitsuba Grey Valley of the Dree Cruise Earth Federation Autonomous Corps. Which, yes, I know it's a mouthful, but we can't exactly spell out um, shield. The best we can do is defac, and I don't know if that's much better. <laughs> We've come to confirm the situation. Please respond. I am Dardarian, affiliated with the Londo Bell. The Londo Bell? That would be the Autonomous Corps led by Captain Bright Noah. I've never heard of them possessing a mobile weapon even remotely like this one, though. I see. This confirms that I must have been transferred to an unfamiliar parallel world. A parallel world? Displaced by it through the DBD. It's not the first time I've displaced through to a parallel world. I am sorry. Who are you? I believe further questions are in order, ma'am. We would like to ask you a few questions, Zydarian. Would you mind coming aboard? Please follow instructions to dock with our ship. Once you disembark from your machine, we can discuss the situation. I am not a pilot. Calmly and... Pardon? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I, myself, I'm M. Dardarian. Oh, uh, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, you've got Ultraman. You've got Gridman, though you don't really realize that just yet. So to put it briefly, you transform into Dardarian. Forgive me, but nobody will ask if I don't, so... <laughs> how? Just how? I feel like as much as... Um, I feel like as much as I like to say I'd be someone like Ernie or something that gets really excited around the robots, I'd probably be Reynolds. How the fuck is that even possible, my sir? <laughs> my brother in Christ, how? I don't know the answer myself. I've lost a great deal of my memory. You look, well, you look like, well, a relatively normal human being right now. What is Didarian exactly? According to Meg, I am a large humanoid weapon. Who might this Meg be? She's the Earthling who taught me a great deal. Yeah, you say she's uh, an Earthling. Does that mean that you're not? From what I've been told, I was sleeping inside a battleship that drifted to Meg's Earth from beyond the known regions of space. I have no recollections of anything before I opened my eyes. You mentioned you were fighting as part of a parallel world's Londo Bell? Yes, from my understanding, your cause is the same as that of the Londo Bell I know. But I can't stay here for long. I must go back to where Meg is. I must rejoin my comrades. Would you be willing to cooperate us with us until a way is found to return you to your homeworld? As I said, you're not the first visitor from a parallel world that Dread Cruise has made contact with. While we fight for this world's peace and freedom, we also plan on investigating the displacement phenomenon that brought you here. We would provide you with food and shelter while also sharing any information we discover regarding a way to send you back. Of course, we wouldn't force you to fight for us. Your participation in any given operation will be left to your discretion, blah, 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 all the usual stuff. Yeah. Of course, I don't have anywhere else to go anyway. I, I'm not going to... To anyone who's um, stumbled upon me, uh, I don't do voices. I don't have the throat for it. I don't have the nice. dedication for it. There are so many voices that I would have to do, I just, like, could not do it. So, I don't even try. I apologize, but, yeah. Dimension Driver, which you would think would go on a 3G suit, but, no. Nope. We're going over there. Um, everyone is... Ultraman. Kuro. Altis and Reese needs them. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so those are all set up. Did I get anything from for the EOS? Yes, I did. To the bridge. Um, uh, I've been doing this. I've been going in the hangar. Okay, so we'll just we'll continue to go in the hangar, which then gives us. 10% max HP and EN to all allies adjacent of the Dry Striker. That's actually really handy. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Black Spectre. Let's do another one. Probably another DBD. The Gespenced. Ooh. Vaguely know that one, but let's go for it. And Dry Striker Bridge, DBD site momentarily, last several weeks, war is escalating, stand against anything that is a threat to peace and freedom, target point, vicinity, ascertain information, prepare to strike, blah blah blah. Everything that gets done over and over and over again. So that's the here we go again. And Gespenced. What just happened? I was on my way to investigate the situation in Antarctica. How did I get in space? I felt a sense of foreboding before I went out. Is that what this is? And I'm surrounded too. This can't be an unlucky coincidence. They knew that I would be here. No data on the mechs, but they look but they look like a guest units. Attacking without warning, no response to hails, they must be unmanned and hostile. Then my course of action is clear. Destroy these enemies. Ba -da -da -ba. Gilliam's precognition skill truly shines in the enemy phase. Send him up and use his counterattacks to thin out the enemies. I have no idea what that means, but let's just... Let's go. Guess we're going to start with a plasma sword real quick. Spirits. Target allies. Uh... So I'll go that attune and foresee. Oh and let's go. It's nothing that this Gispensed can't hand can't handle. Gispensed. Look at this thing though, Raider. This is nasty looking. Like Woohoo! I like it a lot. I do, I do. He's a nasty black and red looking mech that I have no idea if he's supposed to be a good guy or not. I will have to look that up, but anyway. So we're all going to get attacked. Right, we're good. Oops, wrong one. So we're going to get zapped, and we're going to get dodged. And what are you going to hit him with? What is this thing capable of? What have you got? Split missiles. Oh. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> Interesting. Oh. That just... That seems like... Offensive and overkill. <laughs> like, that just seems disrespectful. Alright, so I'm going to get attacked again. Are you going to get neutron beams to shit and back? And dodged. Perfect. Looks like it's my turn. Cool. And you're going to go with the split missiles again? Which... Interesting way of doing missile launches. But I'm getting used to that, so... Alrighty, so perfect. So that's another one down. You're going to move up, and you're going to move up. Okay. Go for an attack. 
He's got his own Slash Ripper. Ooh. Ooh, do I have the... I can. Ooh, wait, no, hold on. What's his Slash Ripper look like? What does his Slash Ripper look like? I don't... I don't... Oh. We'll see. And cannot attune. Alright, that's cool. That's fine. What does your Slash Ripple look like? Because I know what the Huckabane 30s looks like. What does your Slash Ripple look like? Very different. That's very different. Okay. So they're more like fan blades than the yeah. laser hula hoop of death. And then you're just going to impale. All right. And that did not kill. Cool. Ba, 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 da, ba. Dodge. Thank you. Something wrong? I'm right here. All right, so we're going to continue. Got another one to go. I can't do anything but yeah. this. Do, 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 do. So shoot and miss. I know your moves better than you do. Arrogant Taragony. Um. So what do you got? Where are you going to go this time? Yep, split missiles. And the neutron rifle. So is this thing supposed to be like a version of the Hookbane or something? I don't know. I need to look it up. It looks pretty cool. Alright. Perfect. And you're going to strike at me. You're just going to get Neutron Beamed. Which I'm good with. Shoot and miss and you and suck. All right. And here we go. Still tiny missiles, just pew pew pew. All right, so we're almost done. We just only have like a couple more of these guys to take care of. And then we'll probably end it at like 9.30-ish depending on how um, how long some of these end up going. Like, this one's not going to be long. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this one. So then we just get another one where we get to go to the 3G satellite. And you slashed and sliced and diced. Perfect. All right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Any more? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll neutron beam, and that should that should be it. That should end this. Alright, so it should do this one, that should end this mission, which, sweet, I like it when that happens, perfect, alright, and that should be it, and a level up, I suppose I'm safe for now. A mysterious warp phenomenon. Unknown enemies. I'm guessing this is not the same world I was just in. <laughs> Meaning I'm in a parallel world. What fair, next? My premonition better. suggested that a good event would follow the bad. It looks like a warship, but it's far too large for that. They don't seem to be hostile. Pilot of the Black Mech, do you copy? I am Commander Mitsuba, Grey Valley of the Dre Cruise Earth Federation Autonomous... Good grief, that's so long to say. Can I just call them DFAC? Maybe not. <laughs> I can see that coming out way wrong. We've kind of confirmed the situation. Please respond. 
So these ones are willing to talk. My name is Gillian Yeager. I'm affiliated with the AUG. AUG? They disbanded some time ago. Pardon me, this is only a guess, but I suspect I may I mean a different AUG than from the one that you know. And this is also a guess, but I believe I came to it this world from another one, a parallel world. A parallel? Reynolds, why are you why are you all surprised at this point? You've got like a dozen of these people by now. I'd like to exchange intel. Request permission to board your ship. Very well, please follow instructions to dock with our ship. Thank you very much. I hope the good permission I received was referring to them. Like, I get that they could only do so many, they only wanted to do so many scripts, but this is, this is, I'm going to get in so much trouble from this for someone, I, for, for this one, I, from someone probably, but this is one of those situations where I think AI generative writing would be good. You put a little AI script in here, so that it generates different conversations each time like not in like not for the whole game but just for these sort of parts where the situation is repeated constantly and so you're not just doing the same thing like npcs background npc stuff like that you let the ai do that and then you get your main script writers that way your main script writers can focus on the central the main writing of the main characters and the story and everything that's just my opinion though though i never once expected i'll be displaced myself well it's lucky for us now we can skip the longer explanations i suspect it wasn't luck at all well as i said you're not the first prisoner from parallel world that drake has made contact with i see you have them assisting in your operations in exchange for your protection no we leave that entirely to the judgment of the those displaced so everyone who fights with you does so of their own violation that's right, we won't demand anything of you in regard to combat. Very well, then I'll, and, well, I'll participate until I've made it to my own world. Are you sure? I like to think of myself as a fairly good judge of character. And what my instincts suspected, your laudable actions and mission have confirmed. Thank you very much, I'm very glad you feel that way. But something still bothers me, the dark entity I foresaw. If that's what brought me here, then this will be a hard battle. More stuffs, more stuffs, more stuffs. Formation. Yeah, we're still awake. Now, like, uh, we've got one minute, like, four. Uh, where's the There it is. Oh, it's gonna. Uh, like, well, we'll be like, we'll, like, try to wake up and we'll just do our way. There we go. Like, that's, like, two hours of gameplay. That's one minute. That's not enough to fight. Alright, so... And... Yeah, I'll like, test and Reese. I'm not doing the work when you put the plus of one people to try that. Because you're doing like two characters. It was hard. Uh, like... Alright. And we'll go to the Aos real quick. So we'll go to the bridge. Perfect. All right. So, uh, critical rate, mobility. Right. Three or four hours. Okay. So, we'll see how many more we can do. We'll do one or two more. We'll do comrades, then new story, and then we'll go from there. Or at least we'll go for comrades, and then we'll do go from there. All right. Bam, ba -da -ba -da. The orbit base is in visual range. That's 3G's orbit base? Those are spaceships attached to the outside, right? Izanagi, Kanayago, Susano, and Amaratsu, the division fleet, the 3G mobile squad's motherships. Wait a sec, I thought Izanagi Sus Susano and Amarat Am Amaterasu <laughs> got wrecked up in the Primeval War. Good eye, Yuda. After the Primeval War, Tsukiyomi, Takahaya, and Harume were built to replace them. Then what are... 
After the Primeval War, the old 3G left for the Trinary Solar System and never returned. Right, the 3G Rebellion. I think Prime Minister Yumi has all his people working to get all that sorted out. So just hang in there, everyone. We'll get the truth out there, no matter how long it takes. Well, anyway, after we were formed into the gutsy Global Guard, the Federation wouldn't authorize us to rebuild the second generation division fleet. So we ended up just building new models of the old ones. That's why those are the ships stocked with the orbit base? The orbit base, huh? Now that brings me back. Have you been here before, Koji? Sure have. Many times, in fact. That was ten years ago, though. The orbit base was our base of operations whenever we were fighting in space. We'd never have survived without it. But most of the original 3G staff went to the Trinary Solar System and never returned. But there are some familiar faces there, Koji. Welcome, Dre Cruz. That voice. This is 3G Orbit Base. You are cleared to dock. Please proceed to docking port 3. I see. So little Hannah became an operator. She's not the only familiar face you'll see. But I don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. 3G Main Order Room. Welcome to the 3G Orbit Base. I'm Shigeru Akamatsu, 3G's current director. Call me Chief. I'm. A it's a pleasure to meet you, Chief Akamatsu. I'm Commander Mitsuba Grey Valley of the Dre Crews. Thank you for inviting us here. Some of our members cannot be here due to uh, space constraints, but they will be listening through our vessel's broadcast system. Hey now, you've been helping us and taking good care of our kids. The least we can do is provide some use of maintenance and supplies. In that case, we'll accept your kind offer. Captain Mitsuba, there's no need to be so reserved. We may be under two different changes of command, but we both serve the Earth Federation. I'm Yang Long Lee, the supervisor. It's a pleasure. I'd like to introduce my young, promising staff. Come on, guys, say hello. I'm Hannah Hatsuno, operator for the Mobile Squad. N nice to meet you. Now, that was... Uh... Best friend... I'd say love interest, but they were like 10 years old, so I'm just going to go with best friend. I'm Sueyo Ishimi Ishiyama, maintenance division operator. So, Hunter and Ushi both work on the orbit base now, huh? Hey there, Sheriff. Missed you, man. Between you, Mamoru Kaido and me, it's like a class reunion up here. I joined 3D because I wanted to be like my brother, but had to know did it to get me closer to Mamoru. Mamoru, isn't that cute? Seriously? Mamoru doesn't deserve a wife like you, Hannah. Hold on, wife? But Mamoru's barely 20, and you two are already married? Wait, Mamoru, your profile didn't mention a spouse. What's going on here? Uh, that's, uh, well, um... Um, I, um... How are you two still embarrassed by it? You've been married for 10 years... Wait, what? <laughs> I was joking about the love interest thing, what? 10 years? Okay, that can't be legal. Well, Mamoru and I aren't Earthlings, so we're not exactly bound by Earthling laws or family registers, for that matter. You're not Earthlings? Well, that would explain your supernatural powers, if not your wedding customs. Uh, this isn't exactly public knowledge, so it's not written in the reports, but I'm actually from the Trinary Soul System. Not to have any memories of that time, I was sent to Earth as a newborn baby. As for me, I'm essentially a bioweapon developed to possess the same abilities as Mamoru. Despite our origins, though, we consider ourselves Earthlings. I see. I don't know anything past, like, the first few episodes of Gao Gao Gao, so I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Sorry for hiding this, Captain. Only their closest friends know, and I didn't want you to get a wrong impression. It's not a problem. Don't worry. Mamoru and Kaido are our comrades. That's all that needs to be said. Thank you, Captain. Honestly, I'm more interested in this story of you getting married at the age of 10. I'm a little concerned. After the battle against the 31 Primevals, they were married prior to M Mamoru departing the solar system for a time. These two lovebirds have always managed to create their own little world, you know? Like some kind of dividing love field or something. Shiro, not you too. Uh, I can see the captain is very curious about it, but better save it for later, Kaido. I have another operator to introduce. Yes, sir. Perhaps another time, Captain. I look forward to it. My name is Hinoki Sai, Research Diver Division Operator. I am a dual kind, so I'm also a reserve head diver for Gao Gai Go. Gao Gai Go. You mean you'd be wearing the same pilot suit as Memora and Kaido? Ahem. Pure thought totally XO. <laughs> I also have questions. I think I'm going to look up that on stream 
before I go so that we can both have answers because I need an explanation to this immediately. <laughs> You're drooling, man. The dive suit is a device that records and monitors the head diver's physical status. I'm, as a biomedical engineer, I'll have you know that it is a necessary piece of equipment for a dive. So I'd ask you to refrain from leering. <laughs> Reynolds getting absolutely... Can't say I don't get you, but you heard the lady. Let's try not to anger her longtime boyfriend, alright? Wow, you two are still dating? I guess. I guess you two are made for each other. Hinoki and her boyfriend have been working part-time for me for a long time. Sometimes feel like I have an additional son and daughter. His daughter. The chief's real daughter has been in a coma for years. I think maybe that's why he treats Hinoki with extra care. Alright, that's enough chatter. The reason I've called the Drake crews here is not just in regard to the transfer of Gal Gaigo, but to request your cooperation, cooperation with Project Z. Project Z? As you know, the Gutsy Global Guard is the successor of the Gutsy Galaxy Guard. We've been told the members of the Gutsy Galaxy Guard are stranded in a dying universe. Exactly, but we're working on a plan to rescue the Blade Braves, and that plan is Project Z. No kidding, there's a way? If I heard the universe they're in predates the Big Bang almost 15 billion years ago. It's going to be very difficult, we won't deny that, but it's not impossible. After all, Mamora and I made it back to Earth crossing those 15 billion years. The children to the two children of the the Braves of G the three three G sent back. So it was you two, as I thought. Yes, people say that the new Braves of the three G Mobile Squad inherited the souls of their predecessors, but they don't know how right they are. The events that took place in the Trinary Solar System were strictly confidential until very recently. I bet them federal government guys blushed real hard when they realized they'd been saved by the same group they labeled as traitors. But it was alien technology that allowed Mamoru and Kaido to cross the 15 billion year gap, right? So that's freaking impossible with Earth tech. There is a way. The power. The power, the super energy that exists within Jupiter. But I've heard it was deemed impossible to control. It's true. It is without a question a destructive force. Z-Master, the metal program entity, the master program entity controlling the Zonda metal, brought about its own destruction because it was unable to control the power. But when the 31 primevals try to drop a giant asteroid on Earth, the power sent it away back in time. Specifically, it was sent 65 million years in the past. It ended up the cause of the extinction of the... Hold the fuck on! <laughs> Hold... What... Is Gal Geiger? Like, I've seen a few episodes, but the episodes I've seen are just basic... Super robot shenanigans. What? Give me a second. I need some water. And I think I have some. Yes. I have some water. Now, back to this. What is all this? <laughs> Alien super weapons looking like humans. Children from a civilization before the Big Bang, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs being sent by the from the past by some absolute power hidden in That's Jupiter. What is going on? <laughs> in other words, the power is both a destructive force and an energy capable of crossing through time. So that's why you believe it to be the key to opening a gate to the trinary solar system. We over I have idea now, thanks, game. <laughs> uh, I just want answers. None of this is making sense to my brain. Time traveling extension level space rocks. <laughs> we the new th <laughs> I I am morbidly curious. We, the new 3G, have a duty to protect the Earth, but we also want to save the old 3G. Thus, for the success of Project Z, we believe that we should go to Jupiter and do some research. And that's where we come in, I assume. It is, a, it is certainly a plan with too many risk factors to count. I know that you can't simply nod and take on our request, but on the contrary, we would be happy to assist you. Huh? <laughs> there would be no greater honor than to be part of the plan to rescue the Braves who saved the Earth.
Well, this is my answer as the main authority of the Dre Cruz. I believe mine is a feeling shared by the entire team. You said it, Captain. That's the head of Dre Cruz for you. All right, then. As soon as everything is ready, we will initiate the joint operation between 3G and Dre Cruz. With the inspection of Jupiter on the schedule, Project Z is now fully in motion. Mamoru Kaido, this is great. Yeah, thanks, Shiro. The goal still lies beyond our sight, but this is definitely a big step in the right direction. But there is still one major problem. Sometimes a colossal shadow has been reported as appearing on Jupiter. Project Z cannot progress until we can confirm this shadow's nature. Some members of our team fought alongside members of the three, old 3G, while others look up to them as heroes. I promise you we will do our utmost. Just so you know, you're not the only ones who want to rescue Guy Makoto and everyone else. Alouette! What are you doing here? What's with that uniform? Didn't you know? Alouette has joined 3G. She's a mobile squad operator like me. And don't think I joined just because I want to be closer to Kaido. I did it because I want to help with Project Z to meet them. You did it to get closer to Kaido, Alouette. But how do you know Guy and Makoto? You're only 15. Ah, well, that's a bit of a long story, but how about we save it for another... Thank you, Chief, but there's no need to be so considerate of me. There's no need to hide that I'm a product of Bionet's genetic enhancement ex experiments. Huh? Hmm, well, if you're sure, dear. Apparently, Alouette's mother was subjected to various experiments while she was pregnant. And as a result, Alouette was born with genius-level intelligence. If you're wondering about what kind of genius we're talking about, you should know that she wrote... Gal Feigar's final fusion What the fuck <laughs> oh, What is happening At age 5 Pardon? Gal Feigar, that was the fighting mechanoid Guy Shishio piloted after Gal Gygar, if I remember right. Since Galeon, Gal Gygar's core machine left with me for the Trinary Solar System, the world needed a new King of Braves. I see, you must have met Guy while Mamora and I were away from Earth. One day, I, well, suffered a bit of head trauma and I ended up forgetting what happened back then. But in a twist of irony, it was Bionet's recent kidnapping that made me remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, did it sound like I was looking for pity? Well, I'm not. I'm glad my memories are back because now I get to contribute to Project Z. And as an added bonus, I get to be close. To I freaking knew it. <laughs> All right, I get it. But don't stick so close to me. But Kaido. And here's the fight scene. What's going on? Multiple hostiles approaching orbit base. Zeo particles detected. There's Zudo Zonda Robos. Is it Bionet? Are they straight out picking a fight with 3G? Not to mention right in the presence of Dre Cruz. Orbit base is an invaluable asset for all of me mankind. Chief Akamatsu, we will deploy at once. <laughs> Fusiony, hello. How you doing? Thanks for popping in. Um, welcome to this insanity. <laughs> I, have, I haven't seen a lot of Gal Gygar, so everything that just happened completely threw me. I don't think there's any game audio. Oh, I wish someone would have told me that earlier. Um, let me turn up the sound in OBS a little bit. Is that better? Is that any better? Perfect. All right. It was just a little bit low. All right. Very good. So, yeah. Gal Gaiga has been blowing my mind. I really need to actually sit down and watch it all the way through. Because <laughs> I have no idea what is happening. Uh, thanks a bunch, Captain Mitsuba. Alright, so... Fight scene time! Fight, fight! Alright, so... Alright, so units, 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 what are we get? So, where are we looking? So, Ichinana needs to go up. Alright, so, Grungust, and then everything else is in the 16. So, we bring Combattler, J Decker, 
Guy 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 makes an extreme amount of sense. She didn't get a dragon. Uh, Dan of Thursday. Ikaruga. Tendog. Oop, there's a 15. Grid Man. Alright. Now we're good. Alright. This isn't even Gal Guy Guy that's being adapted here. This is the adaptation of the sequel. Sequel to the sequel. Which also brings it on to the spin off Better Man. I'd, I, I figured that there was some of that because from what very little I've seen in clips and um, I think there was like an audio oh, drama of some one. sort. Uh, um, I, I, I knew some of it, but a lot of the stuff that they're mentioning is just... I, I really need to look into this stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Fusiony. I don't know most of the robots that have that I've been picking up, or I don't know a lot about like I for a lot of them like SRX, uh, Gaga Go, Geta, that sort of thing. This game is the first adaptation of. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's only a month. Ah, okay. That makes a little bit more sense now. Alrighty. Okay, that makes... I know... Uh, I feel like there was I, there was like a... A bit of an audio drama that... I saw on YouTube. I don't know if it's just acting out a part of the manga or what. It's been so long since I've seen it. Considering that the previous installments were anime only. Yeah, but like... Um, I think part of that was Takara moving away from uh, Brave series and back to Transformers, and I guess they didn't want them want to do them both at the same time, so they're competing against each other. I think. Don't quote me on that. Shido's under Robo's inbound. How many of them are there? Yeah, that's a that's a number. Here they come, guys. That's quite the army for a mere criminal organization, but not, not enough to pose a real threat danger to the orbit base. And that's when we weren't around. They're in for a beating they're never going to forget. Bionet will pay dearly for their recklessness. All units eliminate the enemy forces ASAP. Project C is almost any ready. I won't let anyone stop us now. Hang in there, guy. Everyone will be there soon. Okay, so let's see where we want to start with this. Let's move Decker up to this guy. Uh, bullseye. And assist. Perfect. Alright. Let's go. You're really into it today, guys. Of course we are. We'd bring shame to our predecessors if we weren't fighting with the proper dedication to protect the orbit base. As the inheritors of their brave souls, we swear to fight to our utmost. <laughs> this is another one I need to actually watch. Again, I've seen clips, but I haven't actually sat down and watched the whole thing. That's a regular theme for this for, for me playing this game, Fusion. I, I I know a little bit of this. But I haven't actually watched it all the way through. <laughs> and I'll, like, if it's something that I'm curious about, you'll see me grab my phone and look it up just out of, I really want to know more about this. Um, see, I know this thing is like a knockoff Gal Giga using, like, stolen um, fusion data or something like that. I vaguely remember that one. Breast fire on you. Spirit. Bullseye. Spirit. Persist. And go. Project Z. Unravel the mystery of the power and rescue 3G. Yeah, we'll do it. Wait for us, guys. <laughs> Mazinga, I saw... Now, this was... 
years and this is how long ago this was. I watched the English dub of Mazinga, that's Transor Z, on VHS when I was like 10 years old or something. I'm 42 now. So it's been a minute. <laughs> oh, Koji got hit. Hopefully that won't do too much. Alright, I had to pers persist, so that didn't do that much. Cool. But, yeah. It's been a while since I've watched that. Okay, so we're going to take this one out. And focus, start battle. So the thing with L15 is that it was just another monster as we can go, guy It's the one Zonda that the Super Robot Wars game decided was hard to spare. Okay. I mean, they have to pick one. They can't use all of the monsters, all of the, all of the, the monsters available. I get it. It's hilarious that of all of them, that's the one. <laughs> I only remember because I think that's the one that they had to um, do the manual final fusion, if I remember correctly. I think if I'm right, that's correct. get any more? Yes, let's go with a bullseye and that should be all I can do. Yep. Yeah. I've seen that clip a couple of times on YouTube and I think I vaguely remember the actual episode. It was just like the idea that yeah, it's all automated but you can do it manually if you need to. That was kind of a, a, a cool little um a cool little storyline. I wish they'd done that more. I don't know if they did from my little knowledge I had, but it'd be cool if they did that a little bit more. But yeah. And here we go, this thing again. <clears throat> like, you can definitely tell that L15 has some, uh, has some uh, connection to Gal Gaiga. It very definitely resembles it. Okay, so we'll move. I don't know which one this one is. Okay, can I get an attack? G combination. Ah, oh, it's this guy. Alright! I couldn't remember which one Grungust was. It's this guy. So, Fortune. That's all I can do. Alright, cool. Let's go with it. Now, I think this is another Super Robot Wars Protag machine. But I have no idea. I wish they would, like, re release. I don't know if that means she gives them Fighter Spirit EX. I didn't get playing it until my second playthrough. You can just run up and kill the Super EX. <laughs> Fighter Spirit, yeah, I'll have to look for that and see if I've got it and put it on there. Because I don't have it on there yet, but like... I have fighting, uh, Fighter Spirit EX, yeah. I'll have to look into that one, because like... Combattler always seems to be the one that falls behind in leveling. Like, it's always amongst one... And these are all my lower levels, by the way. Because that's... I... I, I, I play this like I play Pokemon. Like, I don't level all of them. I, like, I level the team evenly. So, playing this, I'm trying to kind of level all of my available robots evenly. Which is silly, but... Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so we'll go over this way with Gal Gigo, And we'll just... Shove a drill knee right through you. Um... What have you got? Uh, focus, no, okay, so persist. And bullseye. 
and focus. Okay, that's it. Cool. All right, so we'll send these guys out. Do your best, Mamoru Kodo. We'll do, Hannah. Today we're especially fired up. We won't let anyone interfere with Project Z. Oh, I love it. So that's I I, I like Gal Gaigo. I like the way I like what it, how it looks. It's just enough Gal Gaiga to say yes, that's what it is. But you can tell it's supposed to be like a next generation thing. I I like it. And dodge, please. Here we go. No one else is dodging. <laughs> Alright, so... Move... Oh, okay, we good there. Move you. Machete. Oh, there we go. Bullseye. Flash. And... Nope, no wall. Alright, go! This is another one, just out of the ridiculousness of what I've seen looking it up, that I need to watch through the entire series. And again, I've only ever seen clips. Nope. Nope, did not. I figured out when, how to figure out when, um... Dan of Thursday is going to get a, 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 a kill. So they have a little clip that they uh, play at the end of it that makes it very obvious. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's another one. And... Gridman. Or Servo, depending on what you saw him in. <laughs> Raider would recognize this more as server, servo, simply because they translated it over in Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. <laughs> this is the closest we've ever gotten to a uh, Gridman uh, Ultraman crossover. And Javelin on you, Spirits, Gain, Spirits, Flash, Go. Alright. And this is going to look ridiculous because it's a centaur in space. <laughs> oh, that's funny looking. Let me improve your ventilation. <laughs> That's unhinged. I like it. <laughs> First played this with quite literally only tangents in the series. Most guns sword with the first shot outside the watch scene. I, I again, I've seen clips, but the main clip of gun sword I've seen is Eldora Five. That's the main one I've sat down and seen and sat down and watched a couple of times. And Dan isn't, he, like, Van isn't really, uh, my kings, my goats. <laughs> yes. So that's, like, the main one that I've seen, and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> like, it's just a, a look at... Voltron retired. All go. My first ever model kit was the older. Oh, oh, that would have been a that would have been cool. I don't have any model kits that are combiners. The closest to that, yeah. The closest that I have is this. <laughs> it's the 2020 version of it, but yeah. That's the only combiner I have. I have a whole bunch of combiner model kits. That would be awesome. I don't have any combiner model kits. 
but that would be really cool. I, I would love to get one of the Mini Plus. That's what I really want to get my hands on. Some of those Mini Plus. But getting your hands on them is really expensive. And I just do not have the money for it. As much as I would like to, I don't have the money for it. The individual makes the individual. Yeah, I've seen... I, I've seen... Um, like... Ah, oh, you hide X. I think it is. He does the um, stop motion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That those that would be. I you hide X on YouTube. He does um stop motion uh animations basically. And one of the big ones that I've seen him do was he do the models as you get them and then he'd do the combine if there was a combiner to go with it but like yeah I haven't actually had a chance to pick any of them up myself which I would I want to it's just the the mini pla they're like the smaller models so they'd be like um I don't think I have anything They'd be like deluxe-ish transformer size, I think, and um, they do them. I think most the ones that I've seen the most are the Super Sentai. The Gal 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 keep the similar vein. My last special few groups I've only ever seen praise for it on my for me it felt loose and inconsistent. Yeah. That's the thing with model kits. Sometimes they're really, really good, and you hear really good things about them, but then you actually go and buy it, and it's like... Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe not the best. But, yeah. Yeah, I've almost picked up uh, Gal Gaga models. Um, the one I almost picked up a couple of times, but I never do because I'm never sure if it's like a combiner or not, is the Cross Silhouette SD Gal Gaga. So, it's got the. Like, I don't know if it's got the extra parts. Or it, but it has compatibility with extra parts to give it more uh, posability. And that's one I've looked at a couple of times, but I've always sort of gone, I don't know if it's combinable. And I'm not going to buy a Gal Gaiga uh, model if it doesn't have the combiner, you know, the, the, the combiner gimmick to it. That just seems, that just feels, that's like, for the most part, I'm probably never going to buy any of those Transformer figures that don't transform. The only, um, the only, uh, exception I would go for with that is if they re-released the old Action Masters. If they re-released the Action Masters, I'd probably go out and buy them. <laughs> Just because I remember have, having Action Masters, and it actually was pretty cool. <laughs> but that's just my nostalgia talking. Because it was just an... Imagine Kaiser at the same time. That one was great though, not perfect. Just the problem with some specific parts coming off. It, it wasn't so bad. I was really yeah, I get that. Like... I have behind me... Um, the Gundam Laos Equip Phase, uh, this was a P Bandai exclusive I got. And, um, like, I like it, it's cool, it seems pretty, it's pretty solid for the most part. Even got a stand for, yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But, it's got only this one side has the cannon that's supposed to come out. 
and you need um you need to have an additional stand to hold the cannons out so yeah one of the biggest problems with models sometimes is like trying to get all the gimmicks to work for it like i do have sitting in my room um the real gray Sananju, I think it is. Sananju or Sazabi. One of the it's one of those two. I think it might be Sananju. And I'm terrified of putting that on a stand because if I pick that thing up, the backpack's gonna fall off. It just doesn't feel stable. It really doesn't. So yeah. But most of my models tend to go, seem to be pretty stable. Like, I've even got some of the Gundam universe. Uh, like the Master Gundam, and I dug up the uh, Unicorn Destroy form. I need to actually DX Brave Arm not already. Yes. I haven't seen that one. Um, I usually get a little bit of extra money around my birthday, so, I tend, so I'm probably going to go down to the local model shop and just see what I can get. Because <laughs> there are some stuff that I'm looking for. There's some stuff I want to try. <laughs> like, I'm mostly Gunpla. I'm mostly Gunpla, but I've been want wanting... Like, Gunpla and the 30-minute mission kits. But I've been wanting to try a couple of different ones if I can find something that interests me. I almost picked up... Which one was it? It was either Ghost Sora or Ryujino that I almost picked up. It was like a full, it was a high grade kit, so it was 144 scale, but it was, it was a combiner basically. That's one of the ones I very nearly picked up. Again, have not seen all the way through with any of those series. But the models and the, the, the animation models that I've seen just look amazing. So, yes. Definitely something I would love to do. Those sort of ones. Gal Geiger, obviously. If I could get um, X Kaiser. I've seen reviews for the Soul of Chogogin. Um, X Kaiser. Do I may also try? Yes. Just from what I've seen of this, I feel like Dan of Thursday would be a, a, a fun model to put together. Like, it looks very straightforward, so I don't feel like there's going to be any surprises with it. Yeah, I get that. Yep. <laughs> I wish. I wish I had the $250 for the uh, um, Robots in Disguise 2001, I think it was. Uh, Hasbro did a one of their HasLab things for that one with the... It separates an Optus and Omega and... Uh, uh, what's his face? Um... Ah, Ultra Magnus, that's the one. I wish I'd had the money for that. But unfortunately, I am not rich. So I do not have $250 just hanging around. In... Uh... Okay, I think that will do it. Alright. Yeah, I... I would love... to, um... get my hands on more of the... I have a, um... Exia Repair 3 or 4 uh, P Bandai model kit sitting in the room that I haven't built yet. Mostly because real grades kind of scare me sometimes. 
Um, but I've got that sitting in my room that I've yet to build. That I really need to build. But, yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff that I would love to get my hands on. But there are some that kind of need to be like, if they're a combiner in the show, I need it. I need the model kit to have the combiner gimmick. I'm weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little. Yeah? No, absolutely. I, 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 I absolutely get that one, dude. If you've got the time and you've got the spare resources. Grab what you can. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, my, one of my favorite things to get, just because of how ridiculous they are, are the uh, SD World model kits, like these things. They're just so absolutely ridiculous. And I love them so much. <laughs> they're cheap. They're easy to build. Like, it's a good hour, maybe, hour and a half build. And they're just so ridiculous to look at. They're so much fun. I love them. Uh... Spirit. Oh, no spirit. Okay. But yeah, I've got a couple that I would love to get my hands on. Um, if I can get some of the kits that they released for the Metaverse 3 piece, um, the, the Metaverse 3 episode miniseries, I would get those because those models look cool. And I need to get... I have... I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the entry grade new Gundam in the background here. And um, apparently if I can get either the upgrade, the high grade upgrade or kit for it or a um, or a um, what do you call it? Uh, the the fake new weapons kit that they did for Re-Rise. Either of those would fit on that. And I kind of really want that just so I can complete the look for the high new gun for, for the new Gundam, not high new Gundam. The new Gundam. Good beam. Intuition and start. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to track down. It really is. I'd love to get, like, so many things. I need to get some of the Kamen Rider models as well. Um, maybe some other ones, I don't know. But, yeah. We've confirmed the elimination of the Bionet units. Now that's what I'd call an easy victory, eh, Captain? Hmm... Captain? As Mamoru and Kaido have said, Bionet's actions are simply too confusing. This is bothering me. Good work, everyone. I've read the reports, but damn, you guys are the best, the strongest, friggin' awesome! <laughs> I feel that's a bit excessive, but thank you for the kind words, Chief. As a show of respect, I'll be personally taking care of your unit's maintenance. In other words, the Chief wants to get up close and personal with every machine in the Drake Cruise. You'll have to resist the temptation for a while. First, we have to try and figure out the reason for Bionet's eccentric behavior. So this isn't typical behavior for them. Bionet is a criminal organization. Normally, they'd only send their pseudos onto robos if they had something to gain from it. They have nothing to gain from attacking the orbit base directly. My, my theory is that rather than an attempt at destroying us, this was reconnaissance. Factoring in the presence of Dracruz here, nothing else would make sense. I get what you're saying, but you've read the reports recently. Nothing they've been doing makes sense. I'd have to admit, I haven't been able to figure out the reasoning behind this attack myself. Maybe the loss of their leader, Dr. Thanatos, has broken the chain of command. If I may, I'd like to offer a theory from the perspective of a biomedical engineer. 
Are you aware of the phenomenon called Elgonon? Elgo what now? Reynold is me sometimes, I swear. Reynold is me. I read about Algonon in a classified document. It wasn't very detailed, but it was described as a disease that threatened the existence of mankind. That's a good way to put it. Algonon is a phenomenon 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 that causes sudden death. There was an outbreak of it ten years ago. Ten years ago? Did the Federation fail to notice this incident because it happened right in the middle of the rest of that whole mess? As stated in the document, Captain Mitsuba read, At the time it was considered a form of illness. But the truth is, Algonon is a self-kill switch built into mankind's genetic code. A what now? I'm told you've already met the Somnium. The... I'm sorry, the who? Pardon. The, pardon me. The life forms we call Betterment. They refer to themselves as Somnium. Let me start again. Have you ever heard of the Gaia Hypothesis? Yes, it's the idea of the ecosystem created by by the mutual relationship between a planet and its inhabitants can be likened to a living being. Correct, the Somnian, the Betterman, are this living creature's immune system. So their role in this world in this would be to destroy foreign substances of invading the body? Then why aren't they fighting the invaders or the Wolgaru? Unfortunately, from their perspective, beings like those are no different than dirt clinging to Gaia's skin. However, they seem to be preparing to fight something fight against something more serious, something that's making its way deep within the body. What would that be? That we don't know yet. For now, I can tell you that in order to draw out their true power, they must suggest something called anima seeds. Kaido said something about that, yes. Anima seeds come from flowers that only grow on the bodies of someone affected with Algonon. Whoa, hold on. Does that mean the better man, that the better man eat people? That they're monsters? That's a biased opinion. When you think about it, we humans feed upon animals and plants in order to survive. She's got a point. <laughs> I mean, yes, but Algonon is a necessary step required to give birth to animus seeds. In other words, we are programmed to activate it when we must stimulate the Somnium into removing a contamination from the world body. When Algonon occurs, your neurotransmitters spike, and you are compelled to act in an aggressive, self-destructive manner. Is it possible the entirety of Bionet is affected by Algonon? From Amara and Kaido's report on Dr. Thanatos' behavior, it is a definite possibility. If this ends up completely destroying Bayona, I'm totally A-OK -okay with it, but... The point is, an outbreak of Algonon means the Somnian need to be stirred into action, which means the Earth is endangered by something that requires their presence. Ikumi, could it be... It must be... It must have to do with this Conqueror King they mentioned. Well, no use thinking about it. If there's no solution to be found, time to switch gears. 3G will keep an eye on Somnium's movements. Meanwhile, Drake Cruz will keep on kicking the butts of those jerks out there who hate peace. Then we can all focus on Project Z. Understood. We will look after Guy Gao Ga Gao Guy Go and its pilots. Speaking of which, I'd like to send Hatsuno your way as our liaison. You mean Hannah is going to travel with us? I am certainly not going to keep <laughs> the one keeping such a cute couple apart. Oh, <laughs> but it's going to be dangerous. Then you'll just have to protect her, won't you? Ikumi. <laughs> Besides, you should be thinking about her feelings first. Mamoru, Mamoru would, it be bother, would it bother you if I came along? No way. If anything, you being there will give me all the bravery I'll ever need. Oh my gosh. My heart. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, Mamoru. Hmm, that's sweet. They please do try to be moderate with your displays of affection on the ship. They might lower the morale of part of the crew, starting with the XO. C Captain. Then we're set. Mamoru, Kaido, Hannah, take care. Yes, sir. See you when it's time to initiate Project Z, Drake Cruz. Alright, so he finally... Oh. Sepulchrum. You've come. Lula. Yes. Hiragi. Hit here. Rice. You may refer to me as the beautiful minstrel if you prefer. Gajumaru. Yeah. Sara. Yes. Ahan. Mm-hmm. If you need your help, my help to defeat the Conqueror King, then so be it. The Conqueror King is not the only obst obstacle me, we Somnium must face to, for the sake of the time of Patria. Of course, the source of evil must also be dealt with. Lamia. Another Forte Seed has been produced. Amazing. Darn it, if only my body could handle the strain of Forte evolution. Don't say that. The fact that Forte was produced is a sign that humanity is facing extinction. I, I know that, and without humans we can't get any more Animus Seeds. The Conqueror King, the source of evil. 
We must overcome many obstacles before we can return to the skies of Patria. None of this makes sense to me, but cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my usual clean up stuff really super quick like. Um, power parts, because I'm pretty sure we got some. I don't know though. Um, nope, okay. So nothing else to go in there. Upgrade. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Upgrade, people. Upgrades. Okay. Alrighty, so that's all that I can do. AS upgrade super quick like. Let me, there we go. The fire control system, which gets me. There we go. All right, and that is going to be it for tonight because I need to go to work tomorrow. Um, thank you all for dropping by. I greatly appreciate you all uh, putting up with my ridiculousness and my disbelief of everything that was going on and all that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to call that a night. I will be back tomorrow for more of this insanity. Um, catch you on Facebook Radar for everybody else. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Yes, that is my outro. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs>